Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk about money making and money saving tips. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe below and hit the like button. It helps out my channel so much with the YouTube algorithm and I truly appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be explaining to you all why I moved to Israel and I'm going to be talking about some of my personal reasons, but mostly I'm going to be talking about the financial reasons why I moved to Israel. So let's go ahead and jump into it. really quickly about the personal reasons. I do have a fiance who was born in Israel, who lives in Israel, and I moved here to be with him and to have a family and, you know, live a life together here in Israel. So I am engaged and I did kind of move here for a guy, but I also moved here because I love the country. It is a beautiful place. There's so much history. There are beaches, there is desert, there are parks with trees and green foliage. And it's just beautiful. You can go stargazing in the desert. You can go surfing at the beach. You could get from like the historical ruins of Jerusalem to like the beaches of Tel Aviv in, an, in a 45 minute drive on a good day. It's just like a pretty magical place. And then I also just like love the community feel. Like in Israel, you really feel you are a part of a community. And like my fiance, the way he grew up, he like keeps in touch with like almost every person he's ever met, like versus me in America. It's like, I barely keep in touch with the people I went to college with anymore because America is so big and people just like move so far away that it becomes like really difficult to keep in touch with people but in Israel like it just feels like a big family and I just I really love that sense of community that you get here um, and I just think that the quality of life is also better like people care more to engage with one another it isn't as materialistic here or keeping up with the Joneses here those are the personal reasons why I moved to Israel and also the food is really delicious and I just like love the cuisine here so that as well is a great reason to come to Israel. So, but let's go ahead and jump into the juicy part that you guys were looking for, which is the financial reasons why I moved to Israel. I should start off by saying that actually my salary is slightly lower than what it was when I used to live in New York. In comparison to most places, Israel's taxes, however, are really high. But I lived in New York City, and in New York City you pay city tax, you pay New York state tax, and you pay federal tax. So when you add all of that up and then compare it to Israel, Israel's taxes are then only like slightly higher than New York's. So you would probably expect that I'm able to save less. But in fact, I actually end up getting a better situation in Israel because of the following th things that I'm about to explain. First off, one of the benefits that I get when I come to Israel as, a, as an Ola, which is like a new Jewish immigrant to Israel, is that I get a 10 year tax holiday on any foreign earned income. So when I am in Israel, that counts as Israeli earned income. But if I go to America for a month or leave Israel for whatever period of time and I'm earning money from overseas, that counts as foreign earned income. And so I don't have to report that to Israel. However, that is still reportable to the US, but because I am not a resident of any state in the US, I only have to pay the federal tax rate, which is quite, quite lower than the Israeli tax rate would be. So I do save money for the first 10 years that I'm living in Israel on any foreign earned income. Also as a new Ola, I get tax credits for the first couple of years I live in Israel. Additionally in Israel, even though you pay higher taxes, you get more for your taxes. So I'm actually okay with paying those taxes because it leads to cost savings in other aspects of my life. So for example, my children's university education will be incredibly cheap. Like in America, you can pay hundreds of thousands of US dollars to send your kids to a good university versus in Israel, the best universities will charge you like maximum equivalent of 5,000 US dollars for the entire year, which is like nothing, right? So my children's university education will be a really good quality education, some of the best in the entire world, but at a fraction of the price. The money that is coming out of my taxes pays for my children's education. And the same goes for their elementary school, their high school, and all of that, their kindergarten even. And I know a lot of you folks think like, well, you can get free public school in America too. But the truth of the matter is if I was living in New York, the public school system in New York is really not great. And a lot of people try to go, try to like compete for some of the charter schools, which are incredibly competitive for children to get into, or they pay sometimes like $50,000 a year, $60,000 a year to send their kid to like a private high school or a private elementary school which is just wild the amount of money people are spending on like a nine-year-old to go to school or like a 14 year old to go to school it's just crazy and to do that over like the entire childhood of a child like you just spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and it's just it's just wild to think about and the loss on compound interest you would like lose on that kind of money so i don't have to worry about any of that 
I like save on my children's education and now my children can get a really great education and it's just for like a small extra tax and I think the tax is well worth it when compared to what I would have to pay for like the same type of education back in New York City. Additionally, in your first year of living in Israel, I mentioned this on a different video. I'll tag it here for you guys. If you'd like to watch it, you could click above where I talk about the my how much I spend living in Israel in a month. I do get a first year of healthcare for free. And even beyond that first year, any deductions for my salary goes to cover my healthcare. So in fact, I don't have like any additional charges for healthcare, which is also a really great system, I think. So that's one of the things you get extra for the taxes that you pay here in Israel. Also as a new OLA, some other benefits that you receive are reduced taxes on a new car or a shipping container to bring over certain stuff that you have from like your old life in America or wherever else you live. Free tuition credit for people under 30 years old, which means if you want to pursue an undergraduate degree or even a graduate degree, you could get tuition credit toward a program here, which is pretty amazing. You also get a rent subsidy for a short period of time and you can get a reduce, reduced interest on a mortgage on a new home. You can also get reduced property taxes for municipality taxes that you have to pay year over year. So you can get reduced municipality property taxes for a period of one year. And you can apply that to a rental or to a home that you own, either one for one year period. Another benefit that you can receive as a new OLET to Israel is an allowance for about, that is equal to like a seven month period of about $800 roughly in US dollars that you just get like this initial influx of cash to help you get acclimated. And then also some things to bear in mind is that the cost of living is going to be less in Israel. Some things are more expensive, but like groceries are cheaper compared to New York City. Rent is lower here. Cost of transportation could be higher. Cars cost more here. Gas costs more here, but there are no tolls. It's a small country. You can get places in a quicker amount of time so you don't have to pay as much gas like you're not doing long distance driving so you're not using as much gas and there is a really good public transportation system here which is really cost effective so you could take buses you could take trains if you'd like and it's pretty simple especially if you live in one of the major cities so you don't necessarily need a car a lot of the time another thing that is like a money saving factor of israel is the fact that people here are not as consumerist as they are in America. Like consumerism is not as huge of a thing and people don't have that mentality of like keeping up with the Joneses. Having all brands name everything is not really a thing here. Like there isn't that competition as far as when like teenagers feeling like they have to wear like name brand whatever just to like fit in or be cool. And there is less of like a need to like buy the newest latest everything and like to constantly be spending your money on upgrading to the newer better home, newer better car, to having all the little trinkets off of Amazon. Like that pressure is just alleviated so I end up spending less which is really good. Over the time that I'm here and like my children's life, their education being free, healthcare being free, and these cost savings that I will realize like when I take out a mortgage on a new home and all these other special things, it makes sense for me to be in Israel because there will be a lot of cost savings over the time here. So those are the reasons that I decided to move to Israel, including my personal reasons and my financial reasons. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe below and hit the like button. It helps out my channel so much with the YouTube algorithm. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.